Okay, <laughs> we are in Kalangut today. Oops. And uh, just seeing the scene on Kalangut Beach. Sir, did you know the No. He is asking me if I want a tourist guide. But uh, <laughs> this is how it looks today at Kalangut. It is 2nd of July. Two thousand twenty three, two thousand twenty three. So we are we are at the start of the monsoons. And I thought we'll take a small update on the weather scene in Goa. How wet is it? Uh, how busy is it? Is it worth coming at this time of the year? So the Goa government talks a lot about monsoon tourism. Is it really worth it? Can you make a trip at this time? You judge for yourself. By the end of the video, you might get an idea. Okay. So we are at Kalangut. The beach is 200 meters away, 100. We'll stop at that point there, which I'll show you in a minute. To my right is the tourist residency, earlier the tourist hostel. Set up in 1960s, 1966 probably, 67. A whole lot of kitschy kind of uh, tourist stalls here. It was very different in the past. I remember a different Kalango. So we are talking about uh, tourist prices. The I love Goa shirts that everyone wears ubiquitously. Like you can see here, just as we were saying. So this has changed a lot. Very windy here. So this used to be called the rotunda, rotunda, rotunda. I think it means something like uh, the round circle. It was full of sand, now it's concretized. So it doesn't look the same as it used to. The tourist is a government restaurant, government owned, government corporation owned restaurant. Uh, now called a tourist residency. It was set up for a total of six and a half lakhs in the 60s uh, on the argument that tourist, tourism needed infrastructure and things like that. Anyway, we'll go into that in a later video, but uh, let's not get distracted from the goal at hand. So as I said, this is uh, July. 2023 starting of July 2023 so normally the monsoons in Goa should uh, should start sometime around the 5th or the 7th of June it used to start it used to start very much on time in the past but now it's a bit irregular you never know this year, because of the cyclonic, uh, the cyclone 
that watched a show somewhere along the Gujarat and Pakistan coast called Bipar Joy somewhere on the 16th of June the monsoons got shifted quite a bit so it was warm for much of June it was steamy hot it was threatening to rain but not raining that kind of thing and uh, the monsoons came late as you know Bipar Joy started formed around the 5th of June in the Arabian Sea it started as a cyclonic circulation and then went became into a low pressure area and kept on uh, getting more severe till it became a very severe cyclonic storm BSCS and it had a landfall somewhere on 16th of June at Nalia in Gujarat and affected a whole lot of the Gujarat and Pakistan coast as well so 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 there are tourists coming in at this time but not in the large numbers you would expect on a Sunday evening so the coming back to the weather the the cyclone delayed the onset of the monsoon and uh, we now we have the monsoons in goa the monsoons are there it's not pre monsoons it's already the monsoons here so i think you know i'm not i'm not an expert at this my knowledge is a bit suspect so from what i understand there are two or three patterns of monsoon kind of rain so the pre monsoons are before normally before june or at the starting of june where it heats up in the day and precipitates by night so you will find heavy rainfall at night and the days are mostly dry that's one pattern of rain the second pattern of rain is where it will rain 15 20 minutes for a stretch and then you'll have long gaps of 3 or 4 hours so we had a bit of that a few days back a week to 10 days back and then the third pattern is where it rains virtually the whole day it rains virtually the whole day so so those you know so now we have these spells of rain but uh, with the spell of rain we also have a lot of uh, gust of winds and uh, they uh, we've been warned the weather department has warned us that these squally winds can be of 45 to 55 kilometers per hour with gust of up to 65 kilometers per hour that's off the coast but it affects it affects uh, coastal areas too uh, you know trees can fall and you have some of those problems so it can affect your homes and things like that my friend was supposed to come for a meeting yesterday and he sent a message saying that a tree fell on his roof and he was busy repairing it so uh just to look at the weather in the past 2 3 3 or 4 years we've had terrible monsoons in 2019 2020 2021 really extreme violent weather 2022 was good not heavy not not too aggressive not too violent well behaved i would almost say this year fingers crossed let's see how it goes we've had a bit of a uh bad bad bumpy start with the cyclone we had another cyclone on may 15 2021 cyclones are unusual for goa we don't have too many of them india as a whole has about two or three cyclones in a year many of which are on the east coast so i think i don't think there are people swimming at this time the lifeguards lifeguards wouldn't allow that because it's really risky as far as the weather forecast goes the indian met department imd as of july 1 2023 says the monsoons are active over goa heavy to moderate rainfall is expected at most places that's the forecast till the 5th of july we are expecting moderate to heavy rainfall at most places and heavy to very heavy rainfall at a few places between july 1st and 5th 2023 
एंड ऑफ कोर्स कॉली विंड्स फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी फाइव किलोमीटर्स पर आवर एंड अप टू सिक्सटी फाइव इन गस्ट द रेन हैज़ बीन क्वाइट हैवी लास्ट वीक आई सो इन वन प्लेस इट वॉज अबाउट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सेंटीमीटर्स अ डे विच विच इज़ अ लॉट विच इज विच इज़ लाइक यू नो ऑलमोस्ट नॉन स्टॉप रेनिंग फॉर मच ऑफ द डे yesterday's rainfall was 12 cm the most at mormugaon that is near the airport 11 at kanakona 10 at daboli which is near mormugaon margaon sange and panjim having 9 cm mapsa and uh, other places having 7 to 5 cm so the thing is this you don't know what the weather pattern is going to be Till about four to five days beforehand, weather forecasts are improving in Goa. The Indian Met Department (IMD) does a fairly good job. You can find them on their website. They also keep a lot of us uh, informed through email. And if you are if you are very deeply interested in the weather in Goa, you can request them to send you the daily weather updates. So, so the point I was making is, you never know. whether it's worth your while to visit goa or not you can't plan in advance in the monsoon uh, if you're unlucky at the very worst your holiday could be washed out if you're lucky few drops if you're lucky uh, you could have a dry 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 uh, holiday dry and sunny holiday uh, the clouds are up there doesn't look too dark so it's probably not going to rain so fast some of my friends who are into agriculture and things like that can actually tell you where the rains have reached and how fast you've got to run home within so you can comment down and uh, say what you think about goa's weather about uh, climate changing about whether a holiday is worth it at this time many people are here they are all tourists i don't think any locals would visit the beaches uh there have been warnings about fishermen not going out to sea at this time yeah that's it thanks